Hello guys, welcome to a very very useful video for today because we are going to see the skills required for a VLSI engineer. That is, if you are interested in working with the VLSI domain, what are the skills that you can have? What are the areas in VLSI you can focus on? What are the job roles available and what are the job descriptions? And most importantly, what are the companies that are hiring for these specific roles? It's going to be a very very useful video because a lot of people are been asking me these days like how to get to VLSI domain, I want to work with VLSI domain, which are the companies hiring? A lot of questions I was receiving, so I thought of making this video. If you are new to this channel, this channel may focus on electronics related content like 90% H, 10% H. We also focus on career guidance. We help you uh, in achieving your dream job in IT company as well. So it's not a waste of time. You could subscribe to the channel if you are interested. Let's go to the cut of the video. Okay, let's straightly jump into the video before that i i was observing the analytics of our channel and i could see that 84 percent or more of the viewers are watching the videos but not subscribed that is so bad please subscribe to the channel and watch the videos it really helped me uh stay motivated make more and more videos bring more and more useful content for you so please help me okay so let us focus on what are the skills and what are the domains in VLSI that you can focus on. What are the job roles that are available and which are the companies that you are uh, that you can work with. The first one is digital IC design. So the IC design is a very critical part of VLSI domain. In the IC design, we design about IC. That is, we design ICs. We design the layout. What our components it should be there. So IC is nothing but integrated chip. So VLSI is nothing but dealing with fpgs uh, components etc their integration the uh, you know designing process that is this vlsi domain so digital ic design is a very critical part and in this uh, domain if you are interested or if you are going to focus on this domain uh, then the job roles that are available are digital design engineer rtl design engineer digital asic engineer uh, asic is application uh, specific integrated chip Okay, so these are the different roles you can find in all the electronics base core companies. Um, they are hiring for any of these roles. And it is all related to the digital IC design area of VLSI. Okay, now here the professionals with expertise in designing digital circuits, like your job is to design digital circuits, creating RTL descriptions, uh, then verifying the functionality, potential companies, and the place uh, and the uh, job places that is where you can find it is intel is one of the companies we know intel is a company that mainly uh, creates a lot of processors microcontrollers etc so they are in requirement of a lot of people who can design their circuits qualcomm is another company nvidia uh, samsung electronics tm tsmc that is taiwan semiconductor manufacturing company taiwan these are the companies and their locations so quite obviously, there is a lot of on-site opportunities also available with this. Now, uh, if you are going to do a VLSI uh, related course, you can ask the training institute that do you have a digital IC design integrated into the course so that you can put that in your resume, you can apply to these companies and you can get placed. Okay, let's move to the next area, which is analog IC design. The roles are uh, analog uh, IC design, analog design engineer, mixed signal engineer. Mixed signal is nothing but analog and digital signal combined together. Okay. The description is like this. Individually, individuals skilled in designing analog circuits such as amplifiers. So when we talk about analog, it is like analog signals, right? Amplifiers, oscillator, data converter, all these things, uh, things deal with this analog signal. So, uh, so here your area of working is you deal with designing of amplifiers oscillators data converters etc again the companies that hire uh, people for these areas is analog devices is a company i have also posted a job opportunities from this company it's also a us based company so there is a quite a possibility for uh, getting placed uh, in an on site area texas instruments very very famous company stm uh, there is st microelectronics switzerland infonio technologies and on semiconductor these are the companies so analog design means dealing with the the components or the design of components that are dealing with analog signals like analog uh, amplifiers oscillators and data converters 
Let us discuss the third area of LSI that is physical design or IC layout. Here you design the layout of an IC. Okay. So the roles are physical design engineer and layout engineer. I have uh, uh, seen these kind of opportunities in Intel company also. But that's not really listed out here. But uh, just understand this company that is Intel is also hiring for this pe uh, people from, you know, having knowledge of this area. So the job roles as physical design engineer, layout engineer. Description is engineers responsible for converting logical designs into physical layouts, considering manufacturability and performance. The companies that are hiring is Synopsys, Cadence Design Systems, Mentor Graphics. It is a Siemens based company. Siemens is a, a company which are, we are often discussing on our channel. Global Foundries, MediaTek, etc. So these are the companies. Okay. So at least if you are watching this video, you will get to know that these are the companies that hire people uh, with, you know, experience or skill in PLSI domain. Let's move to the next one. Next is verification. It's a very, very, very uh, famous role. I have seen like numerous uh, job opportunities in this area. Verification uh, engineer is a title. ASIC verification engineer is another title. Description is professional tasked with verifying that the designed IC behaves correctly. Verification means some people will design it. Like if you are a, a, a digital design engineer, you will design it. But somebody else should be there to test it out, right? So the verification process is done here. The professionals tasked with verifying that the designed ICs behave correctly and meets the specifications through simulation testing and other verification methodologies. ARM uh, Limited, AMD, Advanced Micro Devices, Broadcom. I have dis I discussed about Broadcom um you know uh micro semi these companies marvel technologies silings silings company is a very famous company they have their software i have used it so uh their software is uh like um you know complete uh design software for vhdl very of those languages so yeah that is verification if you are interested in working in the verification area of vlsi again that is also possible Let's move on to the next one, which is DFT. You can find a lot of these job opportunities in the, um, you know, uh, electronics-based companies. So the DFT engineer, test engineer, that is the uh, roles for which the companies hire. The area is DFT, designed for test. It is also a testing-based, uh, uh, what do you say, testing domain. Engineers specifying uh, in incorporating testing features and ICs to ensure the efficient testing during manufacture. Testing features to incorporate the testing features. That is your purpose. The company is Teradyne Advanced uh, Corporation. Tissol. Tissol, I have uh, made video on. It is an Indian based company. Amcor Technology, that is a USA based company. Silicon Labs, that's also USA based company. Next is semiconductor process technology, or you can say as SPT. Roles is process integration technology development engineer. So you might be wondering, okay, this we thought that VLSI is a domain, but inside the VLSI itself, different domains, subdomains are available. Okay, so uh, job roles is process integration engineer, technology development engineer. So the experts in semiconductor manufacturing process responsible for developing and optimizing the fabrication technology so the process here is to optimize the uh, the fabrication so after you design an ic or after you design a you know you know a board you need to optimize it right you need to first uh, do the testing you need to optimize the things like are the all the components required are they you know really needed for the uh, functionality those things you have to identify the process is done here okay companies is asml holding nv netherlands lam research corporation applied materials kla corporation tokyo electronics japan limited japan next one is physical verification i'm pretty sure that you have heard about this uh, and i i must say that all these opportunities are available in intel even though it's not been listed out all these opportunities physical verification dft um whatever I have uh, discussed, everything is, all these opportunities are available in Intel company. And the biggest merit or the biggest attraction is that Intel has a lot of VLSI uh, related requirements because that is a company which properly works on the VLSI domain, right? They design the processors, everything. So physical verification, DRC, LVS. So just let us skip that, uh, those part. The 
domain is physical verification and the roles is this, uh, physical verification engineer professional who ensure that the physical layout adheres to the design rules and performs design value check companies are ansys a top tech cadence synopsis mentor graphics all these companies are like the at least the last three ones are familiar to you if you have studied electronics next one is cad and eda tools cad engineer eda tool engineer here individuals with proficiency in and developing electronic design automation tools that aid in ic design and verification that is designing of the electronics based tools for the design of ic companies are synopsis cadence metagraphics case site uh, silvaco etc fpj design very 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 famous area of plsi fpj design engineer fpj prototyping specialist engineers experienced uh, in designing and implementation circuits on field programmable gate arrays fpg arrays uh, not fpg arrays fpg arrays that is fpgas okay that's my computer popping up with something for prototyping or specific key, uh, applications um yeah fpg design is a very um, you know everybody should be uh, familiar with it Silinx is a very uh, famous company that hire for it intel lattice semiconductor microchip technology quick logic corporation in my opinion if you are uh, uh, somebody who is electronic aspirant please save this video okay at least save this video next is soc integration so i remember taking a seminar on soc system on chip system on chip is nothing but integrating everything into a single chip that is called the system on chip system we are creating a system on a chip that's a system on chip soc integration engineer chip integration engineer uh, professionals involved in uh, integrating various ip cores and some systems into the single chip uh, to create complex socs yeah so that is soc and again they have like uh, people So system on chip integration uh, is the next area system on chip or soc i have uh, taken a seminar on soc so i know what is soc it is nothing but integrating loads of ip cores or ip uh, or system subsystems into a single chip system on chip that chip is called the chip system on chip means inbuilting several units of ips or everything into the core into the sorry not the core into the chip so the roles are SOC integration engineer, chip integration engineer, uh, the professionals involved uh, in integrating IP cores and subsystems onto a single chip. Okay. It's just like building everything in a single board. Okay. Next one. Uh, let's see. Low power design. Very, very important. A lot of people have uh, scope for this area because power management is one of the very crucial part in all, um, you know, industry. So here also. Low power design engineer, power management specialist. These are the areas. Experts reducing power consumption of IC design. So ICs can't take much power. So we should, we need somebody to manage the power, right? Uh, especially uh, for your mobile devices. We can't consume so much power. So power uh, management is very, very important. Next is hardware description languages engineer, HDL engineer, RTL design engineer. Uh, like the people who code with the hardware description languages like VHDL, Verilog, etc that's HTL design engineers okay circuit simulation and an analysis circuit simulate uh, design engineer analog uh, verification specialist etc they are capable of simulating that is simulation purpose okay yeah that's all uh, it's almost like 15 minutes that's the maximum time I can uh, shoot a video continuously so I'm going to wrap up here if you have any questions uh, like please put that in the comment section we'll discuss on that I actually give an open discussion uh, you tell me which is your favorite area, which is a dis which is the uh, domain that you want to work with. And if you are uh, finding some areas interested, Google about it. Try to find a placement institute or training institute that has that specific uh, VLSI training. Do it, get certified, and go to the companies that hire. That's what you can do, right? Okay, that's all for today's video. Please keep supporting. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching and keep on watching. Bye.